Welcome back to Hammer and Nails with Betsy. Today I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way that I found to hang up new blondes. And I'm also going to show you today the biggest mistake I made before I even started. All right, here are the tools I use to install my blinds. You have a Sharpie, I have a big Phillips head, I have a small Phillips head, and then of course I have my handy dandy retractable uh, Phillips head uh, to make the screws go in even faster once I get them started. And then I have this hammer here, and I have no idea what this tool is, and maybe you all can uh, leave a comment below and let me know what it is, but I'm using it to start my holes for my screws. <laughs> oh, I never said I was a tool connoisseur. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just fixing shit. <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all my big mistake before I got started. I grabbed the measuring tape, I went to the blonde, I measured the base of the blonde, I ran to the store, I picked up the blind that the uh, measurement came up to about 28 and a half. And just to find out that the blind didn't work. Damn! And as we go further up on this wood, we'll see why. Uh-oh, the blind that was installed was obviously a little too short and I probably said well let's just deal with it as it is let's make do and you can you can fit a smaller blind on your window but this time I want to do it better I'm gonna measure from wood this corner because that looks like a nice solid piece of wood all the way over to this corner and that's going to give me a good approximation of the blind size that I actually need. Well, back to the store I go. Most of these blinds come with the string all raveled up and you have to unravel it very carefully and make it straight. And then they uh, actually put this little white piece inside the, the top of the blind underneath that piece of metal. I don't know why because it seems like you would break it trying to get it out. And then the other uh, side comes like this, is raveled in the warning. And then you just take the warning out and, and then all the string should be straightened out before you put the blinds up. Left inside the box are your little squares. Your little squares uh, that will actually hold the blind up to the windows. If you wanna keep your blinds steady and in place and people can't just move them, this is the piece to use. Okay, and now we have the square. The square actually keeps the blind up in place, and then you have this little front piece that's supposed to slide out easily. It doesn't seem like it's too easy <laughs> uh, this time, but it usually slides out easy, and it slides back on after you get the blind inside of the square. And then it has all these little holes on it, and the holes are for you to put your screws wherever you need to. They don't have to be a screw in every hole but there should be a screw in at least two to three of those holes to make them safe. Now I'm just taking the blind back to the window uh, in its wrapper and just double checking to make sure the blind does actually fit. Okay, now I'm going back to the window with no plastic this time, but I have the squares on the end of the blind and this is to mark where I want the squares to go. And I do this on both sides. All right, now I want to take my handy dandy magic marker or pencil or pen, whatever you prefer to use, and I'm going to mark where I want to put my holes. And I'm trying to uh, make sure the holes are on flat surface, not a uh, slanted surface. Okay, time for the holes. All right, I'm going to take my tool, and as I told you, I have no idea what this tool is. Maybe y'all can help me out. Leave a comment, please. But I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to start my holes. I'm not going to push too hard. And I'm going to put a hole everywhere where I put a dot. 
and I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I just grab the square and I take one of the screws and put it in the hole that I just made on one of the holes I just made and as you can see the screw will basically stay in place and then I just grab my handy dandy retractable and I begin screwing the screw in the hole and I do this in all the holes I've made All right, now that both squares are up, and as you can see, I only ended up using two screws because they felt pretty sturdy to me, and they're not real wide blinds. So now it's time to put up the blinds. All right, they should fit right inside of those squares, and it's time for the front piece. The front piece goes on pretty easy. It slides in the grooves, and uh, it keeps the blind from falling on you actually uh, when you go to open the blinds now for the finishing we're going to take this little piece that that comes in our box and most of us don't know what uh, it's for but i had to cut it a little bit but we're going to squeeze it in between the square and the blind with the curve pointing to the blind okay and that's going to give our blind a nice finished look so we're going to squeeze it in on both sides and then we're going to flatten it out and make sure there's no buckles in it and now we have a nice finished look and then we're going to take the rod and put it on the hook but we have to turn the hook toward us and then we have to push up this little piece because that locks down the hook we're going to push that little white piece up, put our rod on, and then pull down the white piece to lock the rod in place so it, it wouldn't, it'll be hard for it to get out. All right, y'all. Mission accomplished. Thank you for watching Hammer and Nails with Bitsy, and thank you for supporting this channel. If you found this video to be helpful, please subscribe below. Let's go.